Hey everybody, I am Jennifer Goldman. Thank you for joining me. I am president of Resonance LLC, Management Consulting for Strategic Transformation. And we would love to help you and your company, your small business or your nonprofit rise to greater levels of success. Today, I wanna to talk about funding, fundraising. A lot of nonprofit organizations have come to me in the last year, especially since the pandemic. So I guess in the last two years, um, saying that they're having a difficult time, that fundraising is challenging. And one of the things that I have advised nonprofits over the years is to come up with levels of sponsorship. Um, I, I will tell you, don't say members. Um, a lot of organizations want to um, have, um, you know, members of or friends of. Friends of is fine. A membership organization is a very specific designated 501c, I want to say six or four. It's more of your chamber of commerce where members get certain rights. So just be advised and be careful. Don't call your donors members. Um, but you can come up with some great other names for them. And one of the strategies that I have found works for several organizations is to come up with levels of sponsorship. This is a great way to get annual donors that will come back to you year after year. Typically, uh, we gear them toward companies, toward businesses, corporations, or other organizations in your area that believe in your organization. And they have benefits. If you look at... Um, at the resource hub that I have online, I do have a document that is uh, for download that is 19 ways to in entice an annual donor. And basically these are strategies and ways that you can give something to an annual donor in return for their annual donation. And these are things that are really, really easy and inexpensive or free for you to give that have benefit to the sponsor. Because one of the things that sponsors, especially corporations don't like, and, and individuals and families too, is to feel like I'm gonna give you 20 bucks and you're gonna give me a mug. And it probably costs you $1.57 to have that mug printed and another $5 to mail it to me and you ask for $20 to do this and it just seems like a waste. So I don't advise the gimmicks but there are definitely some benefits and things that you can give that are of value to your sponsors. The easiest one in the world is to add their name or logo somewhere on your website with a link to their website. That's easy. Um, another one is to include their name or logo um, as a thank you to our sponsors on you know, any newsletters or mass emails that you send out. So these are things that you can give, it costs you nothing. So it's so easy to get their, your donors that way and to give them something that they value in return that isn't gimmicky, that isn't you spending their money to thank them. Um, sometimes that's appropriate. A thank you appreciation night um, is great. If you're getting that much uh, from them that you can afford to do that and it doesn't look like you're just giving it all away. Um, because your donors and sponsors want to know that the money that they're giving to you is making a difference of you working toward your mission. They're not giving it to you so they can get it back. They're giving it to you for the tax deductible um, part of it and just goodwill, being community minded, um, being philosophic. Um, I don't think philosophic is the word I mean, but you know what I mean. So um, they're not doing it for the, the freebies, for the swag. So be careful and be mindful of that. Um, another way is to make it fun for individuals and families. The sponsorship annual levels that I'm talking about are more for businesses. Um, when I was running an organization, one of the great things that I had the privilege to be able to do was I had people who really, really wanted to give an individual and my membership levels were met for business. And so we worked out a plan whereby they could donate, I think it was something like $100 for the year. And we did a private party with Santa where we had a Christmas event and people would stand outside in the cold for an hour to come see Santa with hundreds of other people. And so what we did is if you paid and you sponsored our organization for $100 a year, we would let you cut the line to Santa um, by providing that private time that you would get where it wasn't open to the public standing in line. And for most families, that was $100 well spent and it really cost us nothing to do. All we had to do was spend some time um, which was also a really good opportunity for us to also get to know some of our donors and sponsors and find out what it was other than Santa they really liked about being attached to our organization. So those are just some ideas for you if you're having some trouble with annual sponsors, um, local donations. This is one way that you can go about a little more fundraising. I hope that helps. Thanks so much. See you next time.